Hello everyone. I'm standing today uh, in Flora, which is the, it's the cut flower growing area for the gardeners here at the park in the Findhorn Foundation. And um, as Rudolf and I came in, we caught sight of a very magnificent dahlia, which, you know, we'll weave into these photographs so that you can also see it. But it's amazing how many things are still in flower. But what caught our attention as we came into the garden was um, our insect hotel that's here. There's several of them scattered around. And I made a joke about um, we weren't sure what the occupancy rate was. And it sort of... <laughs> Rudolph, in his droll rather way, uh, replied, yes, it's a bit like how we are in the foundation. We don't really know what our occupancy rate is going to be like as we go through into the winter and into the spring. But we have plans for opening to, to residential guests in the spring. And so, like everyone else, we do what we can and then life happens. And we try our best to respond to that. So we'll see. But today, um, I'm going to be reading a message again from Dorothy McLean's uh, To Honor the Earth, which is a, like a coffee table sized book with short quotes from Dorothy's Deva messages, accompanied by really exquisite photographs by uh, Kathy Thormod. Today's I'm reading another message from the Landscape Angel, and this one is all about plants and living light. When we ask you to think of plants or of anything, in terms of living light, we are not trying to detract from the beauty of the world as seen through human eyes. We want to add to that beauty by making it even closer to the reality. By thinking in terms of light, you add light to that which already exists. Humans drastically change the face of the earth, thinking only that you are shifting matter when you level ground and vegetation or extract minerals and oil. If you think of everything as living light, as vital substance, you will alter the landscape more thoughtfully. But alter you must, for your thinking is creative. Think in terms of light and all creation will respond. All creation is light, even if obscured by human misperception. Consciousness unfolds as humanity links outwardly and inwardly with higher octaves of life. Love the light and change the world. Love the light and change the world. A good sentiment to end this visit on. Until the next time, bye for now.